She's One, right two, three. It. What is going on guys? Welcome to part two of our twin engine Briggs and Stratton junkyard mini bike build dubbed the Frank and Stratton. Enjoy the video. Ready? Yeah. Yo, oh, we got spark. Yeah, we do. Hey, what you looking at, Lonnie? <laughs> Look, man. Ooh, this thing looks terrible. Nice. But it sparks. It sparks. <laughs> it sparks. That was going to be good enough. It sparks. Yep. Ooh, what was that? I don't know. Something. We got some chunks flying. Yeah, she sparks, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Go ahead. Oh, she Ooh. hit. Go for it. Boy, this is the one we paid twenty dollars for. Yeah, it's got a wool in it. Good. All right. Nice. So now we need to see if we're going to need to modify. Well, I mean, we know we're going to have to stretch it, but I think we're also going to have to drop down the engine mounting plate. It's close. It's close. But no cigar. So our engines are 28 inches long when they're lined up like this. We did find out that this is like a weird nth and an eighth, eighth shaft, and it has no keyway. You know what? I'm a, I'm totally okay with welding the uh, sprocket to that shaft mm -hmm. because if it's messed up anyways, it needs to be turned down. Yeah. yeah. So we grind the welds off, and we can turn it down, and boom, and we can tie both engines together with two sprockets and uh, a chain together. Yeah. And they also have to start at exactly the same time. You gotta start them at the exact same time. And that's fine. I'm thinking tying the two engines together with no. chain sprocket and having to clutch it on the clutch on the back yeah. and running to the rear wheel. That sounds good. Sounds good? Yeah. So I mean, if y'all have any stuff. other if y'all have anything to say. Yeah, work just fine. You need some starting fluid? Well should we well, let's go straight to starter fluid after we check the spark. Because okay. that'll eliminate any carb issues. Dude, it's like seven eighths or something weird. Dang! That is weird. It is weird. It must it must have been off of some sort of piece of machinery or something. You don't know what you're doing? I mean, I know how to operate All right. mine, uh -huh. but. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't want to get yelled at. Oh, we've been busted. We've been busted. Okay. Now, do you know, you guys know what you're doing? No. What's up, dog? You're about to cut the frame. I'm about to cut the frame. Man, we are about to cut the frame. Yeah. But I don't feel bad about cutting this frame because, well, it's got it's got some holes in it. It's it's not perfect by any means. I need to cut it roughly here, and here, so we can add I don't know a foot, probably less than a foot, but better too much than too little. Yeah, yeah. Some tubing here. I haven't measured it yet, uh, and then weld it back. Plop the seat on top so you won't even be able to tell we had it. That's the plan, right? That's good. Yep. Whip. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Nice. Hallelujah, Brian. <laughs> Good job, boys. Uh, Chris. Yeah. John. Brian picked up some plugs for us, or just some uh, round stock, and we're going to use them as plugs, just like we did on the dragster. Uh, and now I'm going to drill some holes uh, in the frame here, so when we put these plugs in, we can weld. I can just go all the way through, huh? You can go all the way through. It's four o'clock, and 
the bike is still in a trillion pieces. But we just met a really nice guy named Bill. He flew all the way from California to see all of us. So I'm going with a Go Power Sports wheel. It has uh, bolts on both sides. One side's usually for a sprocket, the other side for a uh, drum brake. Well, uh, it's a little on the wide side, so we had to just do away with the drum brake. And uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna be mighty tight. Dude, we're gonna have to trim that some more. Uh, right. um, but I'm gonna undo that, and then we should be able to put the wheel on and put this axle in and yeah, be good to go. So here's what we have. I think it looks it looks pretty sweet already, dude. Oh, yeah. this this whole thing is uh, the whole top frame is shifted over. Oh, it's tweaked. Yeah, it must have been wrecked. Technical Purge term. And drag. Purge and drag. Purge means just gas. Drag is just wire. Sounds like you're making stuff up. Uh huh. No, look at. All right, that. That angle is not very straight. <laughs> yeah, this thing is a little ah. funky. Can you get this one? Good. All right, guys, stand back and look at the frame. Looks pretty good here. John, what do you think? I think it looks freaking wicked, dude. With two brakes under there, dude. That's it fits. Beautiful. Yeah, that's, that. that's pretty great right there. Oh yeah. It's plenty of room. Plenty of room. Cut that off. Grinding smooth. What? Another, another one what? Grind what smooth, dude? These atrocious Man, we'll worry welds. About that. We'll worry about that when we get them on, get everything together. Dude. Nah, you worry about taking apart. You worry, you worry we about the small tick stuff. Tick tock, tick tock, dude. We're uh, running out of time. You gotta worry about the small stuff first. That's what that way it all. It just makes it easier to do it, everything. Anyway, tick tock, like you said. Let's keep going. So this fits, and then we slide this in here. Shove it back over here. And then before we tack everything, we need to figure out yep, where exactly all that, if we need to flip it because it goes on here. But right now, that is where it needs to be. And that looks like it's going to fit. And then this is going to fit over here. Same thing. I'm going to make another one, and then jack shaft's going to go right here. All right, so we have both engines mocked up. Y'all ready? It's so good. And the seat. Let's see if I can get a better position here. Well, let me, what? we gotta put the gas tank up front. Yeah. We were at the swap meet for a total of like an hour this morning and we kind of feel bad for totally ditching, but I hope everybody understands. We have to, to finish this. Yeah, we gotta finish this thing for our, for our big meet on Saturday tomorrow yeah. at 2 p.m. Uh, Ma'am, I'm just totally thrilled at this one. This is way better than but I was what we were originally doing. Originally, yeah. This is just, yeah. This is gonna it looks so like epic. it looks like a rat ride, dude. Yeah, I, man. I don't think we need to mess with a thing. Man, you are getting nasty, dude. Look at yeah. his face. It's my normal day. Yeah. Right, look at his hands. Look at that. Look at yeah. him compared to me. Yeah. Well, who has been doing all the work? Oh. Oh. Oh, Chris. Oh. Good one, man. <laughs> we're gonna put the jack shaft either in the middle or the back here and this sprocket's going to go to the drive sprocket drive sprocket and this sprocket right here is going to go to the clutch of the engine 
Sounds good. Yep. And the clutch is going on the end of oh, on the end of the black one right here. On the end of the black. And one. then we're gonna have the sprocket here. Yep. Welded, right? Welded. Um, tying going these two ends the, together. Yep. So you got to start both of them at the same time. Yes. Because they won't run without the other. Right. Yep. I love it. Oh my. So y'all think that's it? Huh? Um, that's probably it. Maybe. Oh. Chris is ready to get doing some welding. <laughs> Alright, watch y'all's eyes. Eyes and ears. Huh? That tack cracked right now. Well, that's alright, just welded up. Yeah. Alright, so that one's welded up. Hopefully it doesn't wobble. Oh, it looks pretty good. We're gonna weld this one up to the back of that. Clutch? Clutch. That one's gonna be funky, dude. Because you gotta make sure none of that weld interferes with the sprockets. What about taking huh? a file and just put a keyway on there? Huh? File a keyway. Or and, and just let that sprocket okay. float? It might float this way. Put a... Uh, another another collar on another it? Another collar. Mm. If it breaks, then... then it doesn't figure a different way to put it on. If we weld it and it breaks, then we... See, I was welding it to the clutch itself, not yeah. to the crankshaft. But look at how thin that is. Yeah. And look at, with a welder like this, it's just going to lap up right there on the sprocket. I mean, I, if you think you can get that, then like more power to you, but... I've done it before with files. It's a pain, but you can do it. Getting the burrs off? Yeah. What's up, bro? Nothing. How you doing? Fine. How, how you getting along? Good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Is there a disagreement over here I didn't hear about? No. No. Just, just chit chatting. A friendly discussion. Just, just some banter. Yeah. Thinking about looking into uh, some. Uh, there. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what? Are you going through the engine? Where are you grounded at? Oh Ooh. my God. Poking up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is Saturday. 2 p.m. we have our big meet and greet and our bike needs to be done. It looks done, but we still have a lot of little things that are gonna take a long time, like brakes and throttles, which is gonna be a pain synchronizing those two engines. Mike has a pretty good idea. Yeah. We'll see. We were up until about one in the morning working on that bike last night, or Ike was. I had to go get the rental car from the swap meet. Um, yeah, we do this every time we go to Texas. We just like try to cram an entire build into like three days. I think it's worth it in the end, but isn't, isn't this day two? Because it was really now this is day, day two. This is the day two. Of okay, the build, right? it's only day two. So we aren't even going to the swap meet this morning. We're just going straight to go Power Sports, so we can crank this thing out. Last night, all our memory cards were full, so we got a little bit of work done without filming it. But check it out. All of our engine mounts are like totally welded. Um, well, we're happy with it. I mean, they're spot welded, but that should be plenty. Yeah. And jack shaft is also mounted. So what we have is chain, tying these guys together, chain to the jack shaft, mm -hmm. jack shaft to the sprocket. And we got a friend helping us out today. This is Kato. There we go. All the chains are tight, dude, right there. Boom, there's that one. So, now this one. And uh, once I get this chain on, we can tighten this engine. Good. Yeah. Then we can do exhaust and throttle. Then we can do exhaust and throttle. And, uh, you know, weld in those nuts where they don't fall out. Mm -hmm. That looks safe. Yeah. It's not like we got fuel line right there. What you doing? Uh, just getting some uh, braces bolted in that Chris cut out for us and drilled at an angle iron because 
We put a video on Instagram of this thing, and the chain was flopping around, and these engines were just dancing. Uh, just cross braces to keep the tops of the engines from kind of coming and going. Uh-huh. Uh, no. yeah. But it's getting down to the water. We got, what, an hour and 15 minutes before we need to leave. And apparently, a bunch of people have already been by asking it. to see it. But it'll be all right. That's right. They're still working. Redbeard garage is still working. Yep. Almost done. <laughs> We're kind of close here. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Dude, this thing is dying. What? You got the throttle over? Yeah. She's One, two, three, go. We gotta go guys <laughs> all right so chris and i are on the way our eta is 154 but we need to park uh, and walk to the booth so we're gonna get there right at two so i promise everyone who showed up that we weren't messing around it seriously came down to the wire i posted a teaser on our facebook and instagram and landon gasaway said if if those are briggs and stratton engines you need to name the the frankenstratton I love that name. Ike loves that name. We dub it the Frankenstratton. Yeah, that's an awesome name. The, uh, yeah, the twin eight horse Briggs and Stratton stretched rat rod budget junkyard mini bike. And I mean, if you don't count the brand new parts we put on it from Go Power Sports, we have like 150 bucks in the entire thing. So 16 horsepower mini bike for like 150 bucks. Not bad. Can't beat that. Not at all. So we'll see y'all when we get there. We're just gonna head on to the booth before they get here because we got people waiting to see us, I guess. That's what Tim said. Tim was like, a bunch of people have been by and they're like, where are they? But that was at like noon, so we still had like two hours to go. We've been busy. It's five o'clock, time to whip the uh, bikes out. Probably seven or eight o'clock, sun's going down. We packed up, we're headed to Go Power Sports to just kind of say bye to everybody. Um, mixed success today. I, it, I'm not gonna, it was success to me. I was a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed too, but uh, you know what? It'll be fine. Uh, 
we'll just work on it and finish it up next time. Yeah. I don't know if we actually explained what happened on camera, because a lot of people were recording, but, like, I wasn't, because I was trying to get it started. <clears throat> we uh, picked a sprocket joining the two engines, a little bit too small for the engines. When we bored them out, they were a little thin. Eight horsepower on a, on, on a little gear, that thing just shattered. It snapped the sprocket right in half. And, and the chain. And the chain. <laughs> Lucky it didn't hurt anybody. Yeah. At the end of the day, I think we were a little too ambitious with this project. From start to finish, I think we had maybe 20 hours of build time. It was still a ton of fun to hang out with the Go Power Sports guys, build, break, repeat, Redbeard's Garage, and rather be welding. And the Franken Stratton will be back this summer. Go Power Sports offered to ship it to us, so we are going to go back and fix our rushed mistakes and make it really a sweet little rat rod mini bike. Anyway, let us know what you thought of the build. Go easy on us because once again, we only had 20 hours to complete it. We can't wait to go back to Texas for next year's build off and leave us a thumbs up for more awesome videos like this. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and press our bell for notifications. Support the channel by picking up some merchandise at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. I'm actually gonna release a bonus video tomorrow. Uh, I hung out with Grant from CartFab and we made a silent mini bike. Anyway, see y'all tomorrow and Wednesday.